this is Penn from NortheastWheelsEvents.com at the 2018 Eastern Tools Summer Classic. We're chatting with Alex. Alex has a 74 Mazda RX3 uh, SP. The SP, of course, is all the doodads. The uh, RX3 was one of the original Mazda rotaries, which is really pretty cool. Alex, how long have you owned this car? About five years. This is amazing. Were you looking for uh, early Mazda? Well, I, I always liked uh, Mazdas, uh, Rotaries, uh, and also Alfa Romeos. I have two Alfa Romeos. Oh, well. nice. Which Alphas? Got to ask. A Mazda a, a GTV. A oh, Bertone, I love them. 1974, and I have a uh -huh. Spider 1976 convertible. Very nice. Well, of course. Graduate? Uh, yes. Yeah. Very yeah, good. Get, later model, but uh, yep. yeah. Well, you yeah. have the quattro, uh, no, uh, quattrofolia. Oh, foglio, yes. yes, 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 yes. Yeah, I speak Alfa Romeo. I also speak uh, <laughs> Japanese. So, pretty cool. Yeah, this so. is great. Uh, now, you have a two... It's a 12A uh, engine. 12A, okay, very yeah, good. It's a Mazda 12A. Good show. Yep. And that's the uh, twin lobe. Yep. Very yep. good. It's a two rotor. Two yes. Rotor. Now what's interesting is that they put in the uh, twin spark plugs to take care of the extra pollution. That is right. Yeah. Uh, it's, uh, it provides better ignition. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, <laughs> the four little prongs on there. I had a RX-7. Oh, okay. oh, there you go. Like a red line, like... Oh, wow, it goes... <laughs> yeah. The motor is so quick. It's so quick. But below 3,500, they're a lump. Yeah. Once it hits oh, 35, it boom! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's yeah, a I switch. Yes. I have an RX-8 as well. Yeah. Ah, oh, okay. Uh, and that one goes up to uh, 8,500 uh, RPM is redline. Uh-huh. Uh, at first it, it's slow, but then they take off. Yeah. So, oh, it, it's a switch. It really is. These are fascinating cars. I love them. Uh, it's so great to see them around Thank because they just, they sold so bad, they were expensive. Yes. And then the gas crunch hit. Yeah, yeah, they're not, they're not uh, economy no. boxes, no. No, but everyone couldn't understand these things. They had so much power. That's right. And they were cleaning up at SCCA like mad yes. until they changed the uh, classifications yes. for the rotaries. Because this thing's just, oh, fantastic. Let's check out the interior. This is really a nice original condition. Now you can see the Econo box of the 70s. I like it. I like it. Thank you. Are these the original seats? Well, they were reupholstered. Okay. Uh, yeah. But uh, the, uh, the styling is, uh, is the, is the same. Yes. Very nice. I, l I love all the plastic uh, vents and stuff, but that was typical of the era. Yeah, yeah, this is, uh, it, you know, it flies you back to the 70s. Yes, yeah. definitely. This is such a great find. My gosh. Yeah, well, I saw you pulling in, I got all excited. Because I haven't seen one in so many years. Yeah, they're unusual. I like the unusual cars. Um, I can see that. I have a uh, rotary uh, pickup truck as well. Oh, a, a 1974 yes. Rebel. Oh my gosh, those things are so hot. Yeah, yeah. Because that was uh, no pollution on it because there's a truck. That's right. They had power up the yin yang. Oh, geez, Alex, that is too cool. Now, I love the SP designation. Oh. Uh, and of course, the set decals. What the um, fellow was saying before is interesting is with the skinny mini tires. Yes. Uh, they, they used to uh, race this car and they took the, um, uh, the turbo. It had a turbo before. So. Oh, okay. So it had a hard life then? Yes, yes. Yeah, it had uh, quite, a, uh, quite a few uh, hard things. Ah, well, I'm glad <laughs> yeah, you brought that, back. That, uh, the rear is a uh, nine inch uh, Ford. Oh, really? Yeah, okay. That's the original, and I put uh, Willwood brakes. Uh, Good. Yeah. That's why it took me a while to get it back on the street because it wasn't safe to drive without it. So. Yeah. I know they no. were, had drum in the rear and a yes. uh, little now, tiny disc now in the it front. Has, now it has uh, all, all around, it has uh, discs. So. Very good. Yeah, okay. What other modifications have you done? Uh, just uh, the, the rear. Uh, I put a uh, new uh, 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 Willwood brakes and um, 
four piston uh, disc brakes, um, and then the axles uh, are Moser, Moser oh, okay. axles. Uh, but other than that, it's it's pretty much uh, it. You know, it's a um, it's a standard engine, 12A. Yeah. And so. Running and through I, a five-speed. Original, huh? Five-speed. Well, that's one thing that it does have. It has a uh, um, an upgraded uh, transmission. It has a five-speed uh, from a later model uh, uh, RX-7. The original ones had uh, four-speed, Four. correct? Yes. Yeah. yeah. And, and um, drum brakes. Yes. Oh, craziness! This is really exciting. Thank now, you. What, what what's your favorite thing about the uh, RX-3? Uh, well. Uh, the uh, the styling it's uh, it follows the same uh, styling as uh, as the Alfa Romeo uh, the, uh, the the GTV uh, so that also caught my eye but uh, the styling the 70s uh, uh, graphics uh, the color um, uh huh and of course the uh, the way the engine sounds uh, it's uh, brap 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 yes the, uh, the typical <laughs> oh i know they're they're wonderful yeah, yeah. it's nothing and, like uh, a rotary that's right and uh the old school uh you know it's uh, i i like old school cars yes so. well this fits the bill alex this fits more than the bill because this is really a unique piece today thank you. Thank you alex much. thank you very it was much a pleasure meeting you oh pleasure this is pam from northeastwheelsevents.com at the 2008 rotary, rotary. all right Oh, I got a good picture of you uh, talking to the guys with the rotary shirt. Right, Couldn't you. miss that. Excellent. It's excellent. This is Pam from NortheastWheelsEvents.com at the 2018 Eastwood uh, Summer Classic. For more cool events like this, make sure you check NortheastWheelsEvents.com, SoutheastWheelsEvents.com, UKWheelsEvents.com, and be sure to post and share your events directly onto the calendars. I'll see you at the shows. Thank you.